Hello guys, another trade. Looks like it's just about to close with any luck. Uh, we've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 500, the 50 level above us. And I was going to talk about this earlier actually, in that when you get a reversal, and we traded this earlier as you can see, then we had the pullback, uh, then we had uh, the reversal long. It hasn't closed uh, long on here yet. In other words, it hasn't cancelled out the reversal short, but um, it has bounced off this ascending trend line again, as you can see. I mean, you know, this was drawn way, way long time ago here. And um, the thing I wanted to mention was that um, when you get a reversal of this uh, sort of quality, if you like, strength, we've got a very strong trend in place, low, high, high, low, high, high, pullback, continuation, that's swing one, swing two, swing three, swing four, continuation is swing five, and um, we've got another one here really, if you go down on the one minute, we could draw another ascending trend line, oops, there, and um, you've got swing one, swing two, swing three, Swing four, that's the pullback, there's the continuation, and uh, there we go. I would expect this to continue through there and beyond, actually. There's a the um, resistance level that this was trying to break. Um, important to mention that resistance level as well, that that is what I call minor resistance, because the major resistance is in the downswing. So if you're below the eight EMA, really this is an easy visual guide you know you are in the um, in breaking the major resistance uh, if you're going long and um, this is minor resistance because it's not forced the price below here or below here and so on and so forth if it went below here we'd be uh, below and most likely red on this hopefully that makes sense this is going on up to uh, potentially test that level. 11, 12 pips is more than enough for me. That's two and a half times my daily requirement, as you know by now already if you watch plenty of my videos. Um, and continuing on to this, you know, when you get, so 10 o'clock was the H4, so H4 now has closed green. We are 10.09 in the morning. I don't think you can see the time. You might just be able to see it, actually. Um, and um, H4, close green, good. But we could have expected a potential pullback there. But this is in the meat of the market process now. Uh, we're way below the uh, daily average. I think that's showing about 78 pips below there. We'll have a look in a minute when I go down. But H1 is rising strongly. So that was another reason to continue long. So it isn't my place to start to call the direction I think the trade is going to go that's uh, I'm not qualified to do that it's uh, it's not done so um, disclaimer only trade what I teach not what I, I talk about not the setups trade the method and um, what else have we got going on here uh, I've drawn an h4 low way over there I'm not going to look at that now excuse me but we're above the the pivot we're, we are attacking um, new uh, uh, levels here. Let's have a look where that H4 low is actually. I, I know I digress. There it is there. I drew it on there. Um, normally I would say we're on our way up to the last uh, resistance broken, uh, support broken rather, which would be way up here. But always be aware that uh, anything, so notice the gap there massive gap to that level there that's important so I'm glad I did come on to this chart and point this out as well so that's part of my thought process for this long um, we could draw a descending trend line now connecting these valids because what do I always say they act as magnets to the price as well there it is there so we can come back and look at that maybe if I have time to uh, do that that would coincide with uh, that um, uh, low there, these candles here. 
we would have a problem with these ones here so it's never a price never moves in a straight line don't forget guys you must never trade what I'm talking about here always trade your own stuff so there it is hitting that low now that has burst up nicely oh we're on yeah we were on about 78 it's now 81 and uh, let's get down to the lower time frame smash through that uh, that uh, uh, 50 level there notice how the the support and resistance levels are in my opinion far more powerful than these levels that's why you know you'll see me take trades just through them as if they're not even there occasionally it's because I trust my uh, knowledge of support and resistance far more than I do just arbitrary lines okay there is a reason that became a a um, important level there on an h4 chart uh, not so much this level here as you can see so that's it guys you know we're just following the pressure you could you know you could just as easy use the RSI as use a set of moving averages and say okay when I'm above the 8 hourly MA I'm going to keep trading the pullbacks or when I'm green on the H4 um, uh, RSI when I've changed from red in other words I've uh, changed direction with with our three candle reversals in mind of course that's the H1 level there that's closed above then we've had so, some pullbacks um, and then we've closed above again looks like about here same level actually by the looks of it there and then you know I've had a couple of long trades on that uh, move so the power of the RSI the power of the moving average the power of the reversals which is uh, to be honest with you my number one that's the whole point of this whole method everything else is uh, ancillary chart 15 minute 15 minute 15 minute uh, looks like it might have engulfed closed above that 15 minute chart that candle there yeah it did so that was a 15 minute reversal there which cancelled out this 15 minute reversal down I will double check that the low is uh, 3158 the low of that is 3147 yeah I was right so that was an engulfing reversal to the long side and then uh, price absolutely absolutely exploded you got to love this stuff I hope you do love it if you love it and you're watching and you've been on my Twitter feed please retweet uh, retweets are important spread the word I want to teach as many people this as I can for free I am sick to death of seeing all the charlatans on uh, on um, Twitter in their huge little groups all following and helping each other just scam poor people out of money it is disgusting it makes me really sick so um, there we go guys a uh, little rant and uh, another winning trade fourth winner for the day and uh, I'm up to about 40 pips I think and there it's just tested and uh, so remember what I say support becomes resistance here that is that SBR tests and retests breaks the level comes back to test it and in the other direction resistance becomes support RBS number four trade winning trade for the day thanks for watching have a great day I'm off out now again <laughs>